everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy Tuesday guys I'm not even home I pre-recorded this on Monday because you know I still have the same shirt on if you watch my Timu haul yesterday but I'm actually at the hospital right now <laughs> it's just so weird yeah I'm not home this isn't me but it is me um, I just figured I'd get this done ahead of time because you know I just didn't know how I'm gonna feel after getting all this infusion stuff done and um I'll let you know how that went on the Friday's Dollar Tree haul. I'll give you a little update and see how things are going. But anyway, I wanted to get this done just so I had my haul done for you guys for Tuesday. So I got a lot of stuff here. A lot of it is for a donation that I got some things for, but a lot of the stuff is things that I needed. So, of course, I got some more of the Glad sandwich bags. Um, you get 22 in here. They have the double seal. So that's not too bad, I guess, for 22 of them. You know, I just can't run to all the stores. So I grabbed these at Dollar Tree. It's probably a better deal at my grocery store. But you know what? Right now, it's really difficult for me to get to stores. My poor husband has to get my scooter that I ride in the stores now and um, haul that out of the car and put it back together because we take it apart. It's easier to take it apart and put it in the back of the car. Um, and it's not light, you know, the battery's really heavy, but anyway, that's why I just grabbed this stuff while I'm at Dollar Tree, because I'm not going to make him go through all that to go to the grocery store with me to get this stuff, <laughs> although he would go get it, but I did pick up another pack of these, now these have eight in them, they used to, I mean, these had eight in them, now they have ten, and these have the expandable bottoms, which I think is really nice, you know, usually some of them are just that straight seal across but these actually have a bottom that you know opens up a little bit wider so I got these got 10 of those in there use this stuff all the time and then of course I got my favorite boxes of tissues I was out of tissues I haven't bought these in a while um, you guys used to see me haul these like at least every other week because we go through a lot of tissues and we were out out of tissues so I got three boxes I got two of these this print and then I love this print too. This one's really pretty. Because I have them everywhere in my house. I have them in the kitchen, the bedroom, the, they're everywhere. Um, but what do you get in here? 128 tissues, two ply tissues, and they're the Scotty's brand. So they're a nice brand. So I got those. Now I'm stocked up on some whoops, tissues. Now for food stuff, I picked up one of these. These are the, um, the buttery home style mashed potatoes. I love these you know for a quick dinner a lot of times if I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner and you know going to the grocery store we just grab one of those um, cooked you know rotisserie chickens or fried chicken or whatever they have back by the deli and then make you know these and you know throw a can of vegetables in the microwave and there you go you got dinner like in five minutes so and these are pretty good I love these um, I like real mashed potatoes much better but when you're in a hurry they're, they're a good deal for that. Um, got these. My husband picked these out. He likes the famous, whoops, famous Amos Belgium chocolate chip cookies. I don't think there's very many in here. These are hard to find anymore. We used to get them in a big box at the grocery store, but they don't carry them anymore. Um, I don't know if they carry them at other stores, because like I said, I don't get around much right now. But um, yeah, he absolutely loves these famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. So these are nice. He'll just toss these in his lunchbox to take to work. So, and then of course we've got some more things he wants to try here. These are the original Jack Link's classic tender style meat strips, um, six, per, six grams of protein. So that's what these are and that's what these look like. He loves chewing on this stuff. I, I can't even get over just the way it looks. I don't like this stuff, <laughs> but he does. So whatever, take these to work with him too. Give him something to munch on. So we got two of those. And then he got the original, um, what are these? These are the wild, these are the wild sticks. <laughs> Jack Link's originals of whatever meat is in here. I don't even, I can't even read it, it's too small print. But there's beef and pork and chicken. It's just all kinds of stuff I think they had left over that they made these out of. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't. I can't. But he likes them. <laughs> and then I got a little bag of the pistachios. I haven't had pistachios in a long, long time. Um, 
these are roasted and salted they had some that had different flavors to them 110 calories so these are nice i love pistachios um, i haven't had any in a long long time so i just got this little bag here and that'll hold me over yeah i usually eat these in the winter time but eh, if i was just in the mood i saw them there and then we got some of these drinks these are really good this front porch brand now this is the pomegranate flavored lemonade um, from concentrate with other natural flavors it says this stuff is so good if you like pomegranate and lemonade um, there you go and it's a nice big size it's 20 fluid ounces so we got two of these because I wanted one this time my husband got it last time and I tried his and ooh, that was so good and then I got the old-fashioned lemonade I tried that that's what I got the last time and that's really good too so yeah this front porch brand sipping sipping goodness it says well it is sipping goodness um so these are good for for march april of next year so got a long time to keep these if you want to get some and then i haven't tried this one yet this one's just sweet tea but we're gonna give this one a try and hopefully this is really good too so far i haven't been disappointed in any of these um drinks and things from this brand so there we go i mean Better move these back over here. I'm not going to be room for anything. All right, let's move them out of the way. All right, now this next batch of stuff here is what we got to donate. Uh, my husband said they have a big box at work where they're collecting school supplies for kids. So I picked up two of these pencil cases. I should have got a blue one too, but I didn't. <laughs> two of these, and it's pretty, pretty pink. I love these. I have a bunch of these somewhere that I store stuff in. They're just a nice size. So I got two of those. This is, I need to put this in a different bag when I'm done here. Um, I've got some crayons here. These are the play school. I thought I picked up two boxes, but apparently I only got one. I don't know why, I thought I got two. Oh well, I'll be back at the Dollar Tree again. Maybe they'll still have that box going. But school starts really soon. I think next week or this week here. I know some places, uh, in the different places around the country have already started like down south and stuff but around here they usually start a few days before Labor Day which is weird they start like on a th Wednesday or Thursday and then they're off for th a three-day weekend already but all right that's for that box too and then I grabbed this pencil sharper which I thought was really cool it's this seven piece pencil sharpener set um, it has a whole bunch of erasers inside of it so I thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to add that to the box. And then I got two packs of pencils here. These are so pretty. So much nicer. than I never had pencils like this when I was a kid. We always had, just had those yellow ones. Just the number two pencils. <laughs> but now you can get them um, in all these pretty, pretty colors. So And you get 12 in here. So I got this pack here. That design designs are so nice. And then I got this set here, and it's really dark and blues and flowers and stripes. So, and then there you go. So we got that for just there, and I picked up a composition book. You know, because they always need composition books for things. So there you go. And these have a hundred sheets of paper in them. So that's for the box of school supplies. And then I grabbed this here. I thought this was really cute. Look how cute this notebook is with that panda bear in a tree. Look at his face. Oh my God, he's so cute. So I got that. It's a nice thick book too. There's a hundred sheets in here too of nice lined paper. Oh, and these are perforated to rip out too. That's nice. always nice if you want to put it in like in another notebook. So that is the goodies I got for the school box at my husband's work. So that will all go there. Let's just slide that right over here for now. Um, and then this notebook I picked up for myself. I have so many. You guys know I have so many of these notebooks or journals. Um, this is a notebook. A hundred sheet notebook. But look how pretty this is. This was by the registers. They always get me with something there. And I thought that was nice. Smiles are always in fashion. I just love these pretty, pretty notebooks. You can't have enough, I guess. I just, maybe I'll stick this one in my bedroom. You know, sometimes you get your best ideas when you're getting ready to fall asleep. So I hear my husband yelling. Little <laughs> P must be driving him crazy. <laughs> 
I don't know why he yells. He yells, knock it off. Like, he's going to listen. Oh, my goodness. All right, then I picked up some of these really cute things for fall. I love this fresh apple cider one here. Looks like it's in a little jug. It has a little raised apple. And that's that MDF board. That, and I like these because they can stand. If you have them up on a shelf or something, they stand up really nice. So I picked up that one. And I like the little beads on here, too. Little dark beads. And the bow. And I like that... Um, Jute strain. They don't use that real teeny weeny stuff or those ugly little bows they put on there sometimes. I just thought those were really pretty. Now this I thought was so nice. Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. And then it has these beads, which I want to paint these beads. I think I'll paint them in orange and, I don't know, maybe an orange and a white. Maybe a green. And I'll see if I can match that green. But how pretty is that? And you can hang these from this if you want to. But they, you know, you can hang it or you can just let them sit here. Sometimes I take these and I'll, I'll like glue the um, thing over here in the back, the jute string, so the beads stay up higher if you want to stand it and paint them. Uh, otherwise, they kind of hang down in front of your images, but just a thought. And then uh, this one says fall, sweet fall. I don't know if this is a metal or maybe it's just wood. I don't know. But I thought that was real nice, this pumpkin. It has like the wood grain paper there in the back. And all kinds of goodies on it. And then they have the blue, I love this blue pumpkin. They're getting hard to find. Um, Dollar Tree had like nothing in those blue colors this week when I was there. They have all been snatched up. This I thought was real cool too. Now this, I forget what section this was in. Um, Birch and Vine is the name of the brand here. It's a green briar, so it's Dollar Tree brand, but um, yeah, it's just this little house. All oh, this school supply stuff's in my way now. Little house with these pretty beads on here. So you could put like a nice saying down here or some flowers or something. I'm going to do something with this. I'm not sure what yet. And then it has a little bow there with the leaves, and it's really nice. I really like that. So we'll see. I always have big ideas, and half the time I don't ever get to them, but... That one's not like a seasonal item. I can just do that any old time. And this too I picked up. I don't know. This is the same thing. Is this the new label now, I guess, for a lot of this stuff? Bir Birch and Vine. This was actually down in the Crafter Square section. But look at this. I thought this was so cool. Look, it has like a hinge on it. Uh, like on a shutter or something. And then down here you have this little painted or uh, burnt in flower or engraved in flower. I don't know how they did that. I think that's what they did. And then another little thing here. So you could like add whatever kind of sayings on here you wanted to or whatever you want to do. But I thought that was just so different and, you know, had to get one at least. All right, what else we got here? I picked up, this is some fall stuff here. I picked up some of these mini hay bales. I always love these to decorate different things, you know, craft projects, and you get eight of them in here. Uh, I don't know what they're covered with, but they look like little, little mini hay bales. <laughs> so I got one pack of those, and then they had these flowers. They have these burlap stickers, they're called. I guess they have stickers on the back, which that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen the burlap stickers, but look at those. Those are really pretty. You get four of them in there. It has like the little button covered with burlap in the center and stuff so that would be nice to add to a lot of different things for fall um and then these these look like little burlap roses and these are stickers too it's saying i'm not quite sure i guess they have oh i see it it has like a foam sticker on the bottom and you peel and stick so that's pretty cool and you get four of these little roses very different and then, of course, I had to pick up another one of these little craft kits because these are just so darn cute. Um, this one has a turkey, a scarecrow, and owls in it. It's a six-piece set, so i guess guessing there's two of each in there. And this is what it makes right here, is these little guys. Yeah, I'm really into these right now because they're just so cute. Sometimes they're not, you know, the ones years ago were just, you know, not nice. Just something for fun for kids to do. But these actually are very nice. You can see the little turkey face there. So, well, I'm going to have to make up some of these things so we can see what they look like here one of these days when I've got a minute. 
And then I picked up only one sign. Now this one I'm actually going to try to put outside. I don't know how well these go outside um, in the weather, but I really love this one. This one is like a shovel and it says Happy Harvest on it. And then it has the um, sunflower down there and there's the bottom of the shovel. And look how nice that is, how that's made. That's really pretty. And then it has your stake on the bottom, a stick in the ground. Yeah, I don't normally put these out in the weather, so I'm hoping they'll hold up at least just for the you know, fall season until I'm ready to put my Christmas stuff up outside. I'm going to put this back out by my patio. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. And then I got one thing here from the plus section and I had to get this because I thought this was so darn cute. And I love this color. It's like a bluish green. It says Harvest Blessings on it. And look at that. It's like a milk can. And this was $5. But I think what I'm going to do, I might use this to put my flowers that I showed you guys from my haul yesterday. I have three bunches of these that I got from Timu. I just need something in here to put, I'll put some paper or something down the bottom just to raise these up a little bit. But how pretty will these flowers look in here? Oh, 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 oh. So maybe I won't make another decoupage piece because I'm going to use this little guy. I think he's adorable. And this guy's a keeper. Sometimes after fall, you know, I'll like donate some of the stuff because I can't keep everything. But um, this is definitely, definitely a keeper. But that is it. That is what I got at the Dollar Tree. And um, yeah, I'm going to go grab little peas so he can come in and visit for a little bit. And I will be right back. All right, here comes little Pay. Say hi. Say hi to all your fans there, Pay. So I was just in there with daddy again by the computer. He's playing games on the computer and he's just laying there and he's rubbing little P's cheek because you're so spoiled. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can see you. Were you itchy now? Did he mess up your feathers? Well, you were just about sleeping in there, huh? Yeah. Do you want your popsicle stick? I did order your wood on Chewy. I finally remembered to order the different wood that you like. I can't remember which ones I got. One's balsa wood and one is something else. But it's a nice soft wood, so he should love shredding those. Now you gotta fix all your feathers because you're all messed up. Yeah, are you all messed up? Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Look at that cute little white belly. You look at that cute little white belly. Yeah. He's so cute, P. Hmm. I'm not even going to hand that to you right now because I know you're not going to play with it. But, yeah, you're awful cute. I know it's cloudy out there, isn't it? Yeah, it's cloudy, rainy, yucky looking outside. I don't think it's doing anything out there, but it's just dark and dreary out there right now. Huh. You guys are usually very quiet on dark, dreary days, but you were voicing your opinion a lot earlier, weren't you? Huh, until daddy comes and gets you. He's like, I know. If I scream, daddy come get me. Yeah, I've learned to ignore him pretty good sometimes because I just got to get things done sometimes. And he just wants to constantly be on you. And sometimes he'll be happy just on his play stand in the kitchen if I'm busy out there doing something. But I don't let them out there if we're cooking or anything. No. Nope, sorry. So I have to learn to ignore you when you're in the other room and I'm trying to cook stuff or whatever. Yeah, we don't need no accidents like that. No, we don't, huh? No. No birdies in the kitchen while we're cooking. Right? Right. Well, I'm glad you agree. Do you want your popsicle stick? I promise your new wood's on its way. You want it? You're going to drop it, aren't you? You're too busy fixing your feathers. Daddy get you all messed up. Say so, yeah. <laughs> he is such a goofball. We're just gonna hang on to the popsicle stick. Like I said, sometimes he'll scratch his head with them. He's he's silly boy. No, no toothpicks today. See that he just wants to be held today. Oh. Oh, you just got the sleepy vibe from the cloudy day. I hear you, Pay. I hear you. It's that kind of day. What do you think? You just want the scritches? No? What's that about? 
All right. Fix your feathers yourself. I can't pet you right now. Are we not in the mood? I'm so happy that you're... Oh, I hear Smokey. He's working on his words out there. My African grade's been working on how to say fire truck. It's take, taken him about a week. My husband will just pick out a new word and just start saying it over and over and over and over and over. Usually about three or four days he's got it and he's saying it. But he's having a oh, nice poopy again for everybody to look at. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> no, we can still see it. There we go. Nobody wants to sit and look at your poopies. That's better, but we'll leave that there in case we have another one. What do you got to his poopies? are so ugly. He loves his blueberries and stuff in the morning. And now blackberries are in season, so you've been getting a couple of... Well, actually, they get one. Each bird gets one blueberry. One, not one blueberry, I'm lying. One raspberry. One blackberry. Then you got broccoli. You got peas. Snap peas. But he eats the um, blueberries first, and his poop is always purple. Purple poops in the morning. Yes, it is. Yeah, I know. Those are good, huh? Yeah. You like your breakfast and your piece of waffle that you get for breakfast. Yeah. I always make waffles for breakfast just because it's easy. And I, you know, just toss them in the toaster. And, you know, I need something to take all my medication I got to take in the morning. Ugh. And um, before I put anything on them, I always give the birds a little piece of waffle. They're just plain old waffles, and you love them. And it's so cute, because I'll just hand them, I'll have to video that one day. I just hand them all a piece, and they all just sit there on their cages, just a piece of waffle in their hand, munching away. Yeah, they're good, huh? We like your waffles? Yeah, you love your waffles. Waffles and blueberries for breakfast. That's pretty good. Yeah. What else do you like? When we go for McDonald's or something, I'll get a french fry. I'll get a little treat whenever we go anywhere. Well, pretty much whenever we're eating anything. If it's a sandwich, it's a piece of the bread. Uh, yeah, because you guys come running too, because you know you're going to get something. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you had some watermelon the other day. What else have you been having? that you like? Uh, I don't know. One thing he does love that we have to yank away from is butter. If we have out the bowl of margarine, not even margarine, butter, it's margarine, and my husband will try to make, you know, just butter, toast, whatever, if he's around, he will run right over there and try to scoop out butter. Huh, and you not you can't have that. I know. Yeah, so you're getting Gotta get you away from the butter. <laughs> Cause he would love to oh I know you see my watch lighting up again. There you go, look at that. Whoa, look at that pretty flower. Stretch it out, pay. This doesn't work like Alexa. Whoops, no events today. Yay. Well, I do have an event today because I'm not even home. We're not here, Pay. Well you are. <laughs> You'll have to be in your cage. Oh no. Yeah, because Daddy's got to take me to go get my stuff. And you'll be in your cage for a little while. you be fine. you got plenty to do in there. He has so many toys in his house that um can't feel sorry for him being in his cage. you got toys. you got a swing. you got hanging toys. you got floor toys you play with. Well, not as much as you used to. He used to play down on the floor all the time. He would roll over on his back with his toys. But you don't do that so much anymore. He just likes to be out, out with people. Try to tear everything up. <laughs> All right, P, should we let everybody go? Yeah? All right, well, guys, well, thanks so much for watching. And P, will see you on Friday. And I don't know, I'll try to do an update maybe before that, but I'll let you guys know how everything went by then. So have a great day, everyone. Say bye, P.